What's going on guys? Today we're back with another awesome tutorial learning how to do some cool fabric text effects in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Don't worry if you don't have CS6 this will work for CS5 and it's pretty easy so let's just go ahead and dive right on in. So first things first we want to click the down below the three links in the description and we'll come to these three different pictures or actually two different pictures and a font and what you want to do is go ahead and download this picture by clicking the download image and you want to download the second picture by clicking download image and download the font by clicking the download right here and once you have all those downloaded you want to navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you download them to as you can see we have both images and the font so our font is zipped so we have to extract it so go ahead and extract it by using a free software called Renoir or whatever you want to use and you can click on either or and you want to install the strenuous black so let's go ahead and click the bottom one go ahead and click install you can install both of them or all four of them if you like I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it as you can see okay so now that we got our font installed what we want to do is open up Photoshop so I'm in Photoshop let's go ahead and open up our first picture which will be our seamless plaid 024 and from this what we want to do is go up to image and we go up to image size and we want to change our width and height from 2000 to 150 go ahead and click OK and as you can see that reduced our image quite now what we want to do is go up to edit and define pattern and we want to name it texture or no 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 we want to name it background go ahead and click OK Go ahead and exit out of that. You can or cannot save images, it doesn't matter to me. Go ahead and click on open and we want to open up our seamless plaid. Now once we have our plaid open, 033, we want to go up to image size once again and we want to change our size from 2000 to 300. So go ahead and change our width and height to 300 and click OK. Now what we want to do is go up to edit once again to find another pattern and it rename this one to texture. Go ahead and click OK. Now what, what we want to do is exit out of this and go up to File, New, and we want to have a 1200 by 768 and we'll make sure it's RGB because most likely you'll be using this for a website and not printing this out. And your resolution can be whatever. So I'm going to do a 300 pixels per inch. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now we have our nice background. So the next things that we're going to want to do is go to our fill bucket, or our paint bucket tool. And we want to go up here to the very top. And we want to click the drop down button and change it from foreground to pattern. And once we have our pattern, we want to click right next to it. And we want to change it to our text or our background, which would be the one that says background. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, I changed it to our background, and all you have to do is just click on your document, and then the whole background will become that pattern. So that was pretty easy. So the next thing that we want to do is go up to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And what we want to do from here, we want to add our saturation up all the way to 60. And what this will do is change it to a light greenish kind of color. Next thing that we want to do is go ahead and add some text. So let's go to our text and change your font by clicking the drop down and change it to strenuous. As you can see, and make sure it's a black and not 3D because this will work only in black. Our font's going to be 72 and it's going to be white. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and type Caleb. And now I'm going to re put it right here in the middle like this next thing that we want to do is go back to our text control a to highlight it all and go to window and go all the way down the paragraph and once we're in paragraph we want to change it from paragraph to character which is right next to it and we want to change our tracking which is this one right here and we're going to change it just a little not so much but just a little so like 40 for me would be good so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and as you can see what this did it changed how much space was between each letter and if you didn't see that go feel free to rewind it if I went a little fast feel free to um go ahead but 
for those of you who are still caught up, let's go ahead and move on to our next thing. Now that we have our text in, we want to go ahead and click the little check mark up on the top. Now what we want to do is, we want to double click on our t um, text to do that again. What we want to do is just double click on our layer and this will bring up our FX or our effects. Now what we want to do is, if you're in CS6 or in CS5, um, we want to go ahead and we want to add a drop shadow. So go down the drop shadow, which is all the way at the bottom and click on it. As you can see, there will be a check mark, mark in this box and you'll have a few different properties and stuff that you can change around. So what we want to do is we want to change our opacity to 80. So go ahead and change this to 80. We want to make our angle to 90. We want to uncheck use global light. And make sure not to hit click enter. If so, you're going to have to double click it again, like I did. 90, we want to make our distance to 20. We want to make our spread to 20. And we want to make our size to 27. That's looking pretty good. So next thing we want to add is an inner shadow. So let's go up to inner shadow, and it's different from inner glow. So let's go ahead and add an inner shadow. And what we want to do is, I'm going to click on this black box to set a color of our shadow. And down here at the very bottom, you'll see a number, then a bunch of zeros. We want to change that to 2, A, 5, 3, O, B. And that will change it to a nice green. Go ahead and click OK. Next thing that we want to do is change our opacity from 75 to 80. 85. We also want to make sure our angle is at 120 degrees and that our global light is checked. Our distance will be 18 with a choke of 25% and a 37 pixel size. That's looking pretty good. So the next thing we want to add is an outer glow. So let's go ahead and click on Outer Glow. And what we want to do for here, we want to change our spread, which is right here. We want to change that to 47. And we want to change our size to 10. After our outer, outer glow, we want to add an inner glow. So let's go ahead and add an inner glow. And what we want to do is change the color by clicking this little box. And right down here where the number is, you'll see FC or whatever you see. And you want to change that to 1BA500. And this will add another type of green. And what we want to do now is we want to change our size, which will be right down here. And we want to change it from 21, and we want to change it to 13. So next thing, we want to bevel emboss. Just go ahead and click bevel emboss, and you'll have underneath bevel emboss, contour, and texture. But right now, we want to make sure we're selected bevel emboss. So with a bevel emboss, we want to change our size to 20. We want to make our anti-aliased checked. So make sure that's checked. We also want to change our opacity to 0 wherever opacity may be at. Opacity is right here, so change that to zero. Now for our contour, click right underneath bevel and boss. What we want to do is make sure anti-alias is checked, and we want to change our range to a, from 50 to 100. And for our texture, we want to um, go ahead and click on this pattern, drop it down, and what we want to do, we want to add our pattern. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. But um, we just go ahead and add our pattern. We want to add the 033, which is the white one. Or you can add the green one. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and add the green one if you feel like it. I, yeah, actually do add the green one. And from the green, it looks kind of messed up right now, but don't worry. We'll fix it in a minute. 
what we want to do is change our scale f to 75% so instead of 100. And we want to change our depth to 5%. And we want to make sure we have invert checked. So the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and go to our color overlay. Once we have that checked, we want to change our color by clicking on this red box and once again coming down to this bottom box and typing in 2D8900. Go ahead and click OK and we want to change our opacity to 50. Next thing we want to do is go to pattern overlay and go ahead and change our pattern to the green as you can see here and what we want to do with our pattern overlay is change our scale from 100% to 75 and after our pattern overlay we want to have a stroke and change our stroke from the size of 13 to 7 change our position to outside change our fill type to pattern overlay or change our fill type to pattern repick our pattern and there's our we want to click on the same pattern again at the bottom the green one and once we have that pattern or if you don't want to choose that pattern you can choose the the other one but the green one looks a lot better it makes it makes the green on top stand out more so go ahead and fill that one with the green and from there what we want to do is change our scale to 50 and now if you go ahead and click OK we'll have this really nice text effect as you can see it has looks like it's coming out with a C and then it's got like a layer in the back and then it's all on top of this nice fine print down here but it took a lot of effects just to do that so go ahead and minimize the effects and what we have to do from here now is just go up to File, Save As, and you can save it as a PNG if you click the drop down folder. And you can just name it as whatever you want. Go ahead and click OK. Click OK. And now you have this really awesome fabric text effect on top of plaid. That, that's pretty cool. So if you like the video, make sure to thumbs up, favorite, subscribe. If you want future videos, comment them down below. Um, until next time, guys. Peace.